All right, welcome back to the channel. I have got exciting news. I've got McKenna here to film. So I'm gonna be able to do my first hands-free video of our off-grid greenhouse here in Utah. So it's April 20th, and even though it's kind of later in the season, into the spring, uh, we had snow, a little skiff of snow yesterday. We've had snow this whole year, and the greenhouse is performed without any electricity. And we're gonna show you what we can grow in Utah in a very harsh climate. Come with us. All right, come inside. All right, welcome to the Manti Greenhouse. So, like I say, I haven't really been able to do this hands-free. So I think this will be good because I can actually point and show you everything that we've got. So I, the channel does highlight the greenhouse and I've got construction videos that you can go up to on YouTube to the playlist. And if you're interested on in how we built this, all my secrets are in those construction videos. Um, all the other videos have little pieces of the greenhouse, the, the progress or whatever. But if you are looking at how we constructed it, just go to the playlist and do the greenhouse construction. Um, anyway, this has been phenomenal. We, we finished it July of last year. So July of 2022. So we were able to go through the very hot summer in Utah. We, we had some days over a hundred degrees. And so we got through the first summer and we were really excited about, okay, well, crap, now can it perform in the harsh Utah winter? So we just got done with really one of the coldest winters that we've had uh, maybe in my whole lifetime here. Uh, and we were able to do so without without electricity. This is an off-grid Wallapini greenhouse. So it's kind of unique. So anyway, as you walk in, one thing that we've done, uh, can I feel show this? So these are thornless blackberries. Um, in the summer, here in a couple of months, it'll get extremely hot. And so we use these different vines to provide shade and to provide plant mass. Um, look at them over on this side. Can you zoom in? Look at all of the, the blackberries we have going on here. So it's funny because on this side, the vine hasn't grown as much, but we've got tons of blackberries growing. Now this side is grown like probably 12 feet <laughs> and it's not flat. Oh, never mind. It's just about to flower. Oh yeah. So all last year we had this whole bed that Ken is pointing to was all filled with broccoli. And even though it was by the cold door that we kept opening, we had broccoli all through the winter. And so right now it looks like, oh, my wife's done most of the planting. It looks like we got peas, peas growing. So we're actually harvesting peas in the back. So let's, let's go in a little bit further, Kenneth, and we can show them a little bit about what we've got. So, all right, you'll see some flowers. Ken has kind of shown you a few of those. A lot of these flowers are actually just to encourage our pollinators. We do have mason bees in here. Um, you'll notice over here, we've got um, our first of two lemon trees and the blossoms are absolutely phenomenal. And the smell is great. Sorry, we're not used to that kind of stuff here in Utah, but we, we ordered these online and this has grown I believe it's grown about 18 inches since July of last year. So we're excited about that. That's great. Oh, dragon fruit. So we have three different dragon fruits in the greenhouse. This one that's right by the window has done phenomenal because I think the dra dragon fruit was about, you know, probably three feet tall. And so it's almost doubled in its length. The dragon fruit's another thing that we feel is important uh, for that plant canopy that we're trying to build. So we want that thing to be up in the air, as will okay. the water. Okay, so we had a technical difficulty. So we're gonna splice those two videos together. Um, so over here, like I'm gonna get into the really fun stuff. We, we have bananas, mangoes, passion fruit, dragon fruit, but we have just tons of the boring stuff, but also the stuff of why, you know, why build a greenhouse? Like I said, we've had so much 
broccoli, cauliflower, cabbage, and stuff this whole winter, uh, carrots. So over here, you, you've got a big old uh, group of celery. Can you show them that, Kenna? I've never grown celery before, so don't make fun of me, but it's just been super fun to come out here and cut your own celery whenever you need it. So I just barely had taken down, uh, we, had, we had two big tomato plants and then a big cherry tomato plant. So we actually were eating BLTs all the way through, I think it was the 1st of January, and I finally took them out. Um, but we'll show you tomatoes that we grew down here in the middle of winter from seed, and they're already a couple feet tall. Um, okay, so let's see, Ton tons of lettuce. I mean, every kind of lettuce you can imagine. Here's a second lemon tree over here. This one's grown maybe another eight inches. Um, this grapefruit tree's done good. I, to be honest with you, I don't even know how big grapefruits get, but this has already blossomed and we've got little grapefruits growing on it. Uh, yeah, we're probably gonna have to prune some of that. Oh, one plant that has maybe done the best is is this pepper tree our pepper uh, bush like we have we have had peppers this whole winter and we just got done making some uh pepper like poppers <laughs> i guess you could say and they they did phenomenal uh they were phenomenal excuse me um you know you have to have peas i know this is common but we've been uh pulling a, a pretty big basket of peas uh, every day. So when the kids come home from school, they're eating, they're eating peas and carrots and uh, uh, peppers. So over here, we've got um, just a tr traditional American cranberry. Okay, this is kind of the fun area. Are you ready to go have some fun? I like to skip the tour directly to here, but I've been disciplined and showing you the boring stuff. But over here, we've got, I call it my little tropic portion of the greenhouse. So I'll let Kenna pan up here. So, so this banana tree, when we got it, was a little smaller. Just kind of pan out here real quick, Ken, and I, I want to show them the whole thing. So I'll, I'll speak loud so they can see. So um, the banana tree, when this banana tree, when we got it, was about, probably about this tall. And so in the summertime, so mainly starting August and even September, and even in October, these leaves were growing 40 inches in one week. It was just super rewarding. Now through the winter, that growth slowed down tremendously, but we were able to keep it alive and now the growth is speeding back up again, which is super cool. Um, these banana leaves kind of show you what happened. They, the leaves come out in a big roll. First you see a little hair stick out and then a roll of leaf and then it unfolds. And all of these are, well, you can see the new growth that we've had just the last few months. like. These two have happened within within a month period. So coming in the summer, you're gonna have that happen every week. Oh, now over here. Wait, come over here, Kenna. This is probably the most exciting plant of the moment because we have our passion fruit, which is coming into flower. Is that not absolutely the weirdest flower you've ever seen? I think it is, but it's super, super beautiful, super fun. So it started flowering just a couple weeks ago. Kenna, can you see, you might need to back up. I can't, oh, right up there. See how we have the, the two passion fruits growing? Can you see them? Look at that. You probably can't tell the first, the biggest one's about the size of a golf ball. And then the small one's the size of an eyeball. Sorry, whatever. But as you look here, I mean, we've got, there's just passion fruit all over. So we come visit us and we'll give you passion fruits. Um, super cool. Like right as we get started, we're not even to planting season outside yet. And we're going to be harvesting passion fruit. Um, so if you look over here on these beds, so uh mckenna let's see can you come yeah so my wife just barely harvested a whole bunch of, of carrots and so everything that's bare 
is only bare because we just did a big harvest. So um, our, our planting schedule that we're doing now is, is we're planting, instead of a, a, an eight foot row of carrots, we're, we're doing smaller rolls of the foods that we always eat because we've been eating carrots and peas and everything I just mentioned all through the winter. And so the goal here is to have fresh food, not massive quantities of carrots like we just did that we're, we're not gonna freeze this stuff. We wanna eat it fresh. Um, here, let's go. Okay, right over there, kind of exciting. We've got our kiwi plants. So they just came back into leaf and they are growing pretty good. So that, that vine will get about 20 feet and the, the kiwi will be a, a very important part of the plant canopy. So we're gonna let that vine and the passion fruit vine come up over here again, cause in the summertime, super hot. We actually need a little bit of shade from it. And we, we want all of that plant mass in the air to, to cool down the greenhouse. Um, garlic, just kind of fun, more carrots. Uh, our second uh, set of uh, thornless blackberries. Look at this one over here, Kenna. Look at how many blackberries we've got going. So that is gonna be just super fun here shortly. Okay, so this is the, so you can kind of back up a little bit so they can kind of tell. So this is one of a few of our tomatoes that we planted in the middle of winter with seed. So, I mean, that thing, that's probably about four feet tall and it's already blossoming. The one I'll show you over here already has little tomatoes on. So our goal is to, even though we, we had tomatoes all the way up till January, next year we'll have tomatoes all year round. We made a few mistakes. The greenhouse is great. My gardening skills are still getting up to speed and I'm still learning how to grow year round. You know, I'm not used to it. I'm not used to planting a tomato by seed because here in Utah, I mean, if you don't buy a tomato that big already, you're not gonna harvest tomatoes because our, our season's horrible. This is so short. Um, you're probably seeing as we're going a lot of weird stuff, you're seeing pipes, you're seeing vents, you're seeing our, our insulated curtain wall that we, we roll up in the summer. So this video is not about any of that, but if you go to the playlist and the construction videos, you'll see that. And I'll make some more videos of the mechanisms of the greenhouse. I just wanna show you what this greenhouse does in Utah in uh, April 20th, in, in April. Um, let's see. Okay, here's, here's the other tomato plant. So this one's a little de deceptive because it's actually up on the plant wall back here. And so it's probably the same height, um, but we've got, all right, can you see this, Kenna? We got little tomatoes growing already, which is exciting. Oh, we got a little red one, that's funny. Um, tomatoes, just one of the things that we want more of. We had, we had all the elements for fresh salsa except for the tomatoes from January till now. Again, that was a mistake, won't happen again. And so um, we're really excited for them to come on because that will unlock our kids, just devour salsa. We have eight kids at the homestead and um, if you haven't seen any of the other videos, we've got a milk cow, we've got chickens, we've got rabbits, and we talk about those too, but the, one of the main things we do here is try to highlight the greenhouse. Okay, so over here, um, that avocado in the back has done phenomenal. So, you know, it's probably grown, oh, do I have crap on me? It's probably grown about 18 inches since we bought it. it the young avocados like to be in the shade. That's why it's hiding behind uh, this artichoke. And this is next to the passion fruit. This is currently probably my second favorite um, of the moment. Let me let me show them this real quick, Kenna. It's going to get jittery here because I am videoing. But but check out that artichoke. You know, is this an appropriate use of a greenhouse? I mean, it's just massive, and. Probably not, but you know what? We have a lot of fun things growing in here. I'm not going to survive on artichokes, but it's fun. So we're doing this obviously because we want 
to take fresh vegetables into our own hands and we want to be a little less reliant. There's a lot of weird stuff going on, a lot of weird headlines about uh, plants and, and animals and things. We're not gonna get into all of that, but we wanna take some of that control back into our own hands. There's nothing better than fresh produce from the garden. Oh, we better show this. So this is uh, pomegranate and man, it's just grown like crazy. So pomegranates, uh, it, it, they actually lost their leaves um, over the winter and we knew that they would we heard that they would but everything else pretty much kept their leaves and I thought the thing was dead and then all of a sudden it's just you know exploded so um, I mean plenty of beets you know again the boring stuff I think this is uh, red red cabbage over here another dragon fruit over there on the back and that thing has grown wild. So that, that's grown about five feet. It's actually newer than the other one that you saw. So I think that's pretty much, pretty much the tour of the greenhouse. Um, if you can give this a like and subscribe to the channel. If you wanna see more in the greenhouse, we will have detailed videos. I'm gonna come back and do another one of these videos with McKenna, a hands-free video uh, with Kenna here in maybe even only one month, maybe two months, because all of this will pretty much double in green in a month to two months. I'm telling you that the growth is gonna be exponential, but it's super fun because it's already starting now. So there's your greenhouse tour. Please leave me a comment. I, I do read all the comments. And uh, again, share this with your friend. If any of your friends are interested in the greenhouse, just copy, paste, text it to them. Uh, subscribe to the channel, put the thumbs up. All of that helps me get the message out. I'm doing this to share with you a design that we feel works off grid uh, in the middle of a very cold state and it works great. We'd love to share it with you. Thanks.